Okay, this is excellent. I've got these 10 sticks of the um, extra spearmint in my mouth. What I've been doing is chewing them up into a ball and moving that ball. So I start by biting, chewing on my back left and I move the ball progressively round and round and round biting between my front teeth right on the tips of the incisors moving it round between the incisors gently round round to the other side and I move it across squash it flat with the back of my tongue really get my back of my tongue working and your tongue's got to work as it goes all the way around make sure your tongue is making moving that bolus around and getting in. This is exercise for your tongue. That's really what's going on here. That's why we've got a big bolus. A bolus of 10 sticks of chewing gum. And that's representing very similarly to what our ancestors would be doing. They'd be trying to take the nourishment out of um, cellulose material. So they'd chew it round and then spit it out, have another chew. What we're doing is we're keeping a big wall because that's, I'm guessing, similar to what they had. And you move it around your mouth. Now, having gone one way around, you then got to swap and go the other way around. You go from one side of your dentition, all the way forward, all the way back to the other side, gently moving it around, getting some action with the tongue, keeping your lips sealed. As you come around the front, it's quite tricky to keep your lips sealed and do it without too much effort. Remember, lips should be lightly sealed. They shouldn't be constrained. And you should not be using your buccinator muscles. When you swallow, I'll try not to use my buccinators. Okay. Demo of one cycle round my mouth. Starting with the chewing gum here, and then I'm gonna make round the chewing gum on the other side. So that's made the bolus move all the way around. Um, a couple of times I almost made myself a bit sick because a bit went back. But remember, you've got to control these things. You know, if you're not going to feel a little bit nauseous once in a while, you're clearly not totally in control, are you? You know, first few times you stood up, you fell down. Now, get used to it. Oh, that's a very important thing for people who are a little bit sensitive in that area. Get around there, work it. Work it gently, gently. Don't push yourself too hard, but push yourself. And that I found very, very good swallowing, uh, chewing, and use of muscles. I'm going to practice that for a while. Okay, while you're doing circles, which I guess what we're calling that, um, circles, what do you do? You lap. No, I've got laps. I guess doing laps, chewing laps, chewing circles, undecided at the moment. Um, try and keep a tight bolus. Don't let the bolus spread out too much. Frequently you're going to have to be opening really quite wide. Another reason, um, TMD shuffles. I don't know, I've not really thought hard enough about it, but just avoid it for the moment. And uh, you need to use your tongue to keep a tight bolus, to keep that bolus tight, so it's not spreading out too much when you're doing um, laps. Um, yeah, that's a, it's a good workout of the tongue. Yeah. 